This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee. We are the Soul Brothers. Rain is in the building, too. Don't get it twisted. Uh, Soul Squad, what up? Uh, we're back with another top video. This is the top current Nike basketball shoes. More that you can kind of get on the site. That you, know? you can kind of get. They're not crazy old. You don't have to search for. They're available on the site. Yes. On other sites. They're basically on, on the web. Or, you know, they're still, you know, stores. Yes. The mall still exists, which is crazy. You can get old shit there, yeah. but it's more on like new, like this year basically, uh, 2017. Yeah. Uh, some shoes I think came out in 2016, but like late 2016, like December. So, yeah. um, anyway, so this is the top Nike. This is Nike, right? Yeah. I think I said Nike. <laughs> All right, so this is the top Nike shoes. Uh, it, it's top five. Um, pipe. The pipe. So, all right. So, starting out with the f number five is the Kobe AD. Mm. The only reason why it's so low is because it takes a long ass time to break in, and when you first play in it, it hurts your feet. You're gonna get blisters and shit. Um, so be careful about that. But once Traction's you break not in, insane. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's good. It's yeah, good. it's good, and uh, it's a very responsive cushion. Not the best cushion setup, but. Uh, it's okay, and then the materials are not the best setup, but it's still pretty good once you break it in. So, right. um, there's that. Now, moving on to number four is a shoe that Donnie Boy tried, and it's the KD 10s. Very nice shoe. A super premium shoe. Obviously, you're getting a ton of Nike's best tech. Um, it's ooh, the only shoe with full length zoom on here, yes. which I am uh, a big fan of, and anybody who really wants some impact protection, it's insane outstanding impact protection looks dope too uh, looks dope uh yeah you can wear them aesthetically even casually but one of the a few basketball shoes you can i think you can do that with uh, it is a low the price isn't crazy for all that tech it's 150 which is not bad 150 um traction could be a little bit better uh other than that you know it's a solid shoe and another shoe that's basically the same as the kd9 elite Mm -hmm. So if you guys want exactly. that, then it's the same thing. And the KD9 isn't crazy. bad either, if you find a really cheap one, you know? I don't know. Yeah, it's good. Alright, moving on to number three is... Uh, uh, we we had kind of a disagreement. I like the PG1s better than the Kyrie 3s. He likes the Kyrie 3s better than the PG1s. So, three and two are PG1 and Kyrie 3. Yeah. You know, uh, very, very responsive shoes. Yeah, um, both very, very responsive. Yes, very good traction. Uh, materials are okay, but the, the fit, the good fit makes it, you know, so that the materials don't feel like horrible. Yeah. So uh, if you want to feel super fast on your feet, very uh, responsive, light ride, then go with either the PG1, the Kyber 3s, and they're both super cheap. And if there's one shoe on this list that's the most uh, ready for outdoors, it's probably the Kyber 3. Yes. Um, so there's that. All right, moving on to number one are two shoes, but they're basically the same shoe, but not really. Uh, it's the Hyperdunk, the regular version, and the Hyperdunk uh, Flying It. Yeah. Um, so they're both good. Uh, the, the yep, I have it right here. So, uh, so the Flying It is um, twenty dollars more. Yep. Um, and the regular version just feels just as nice right. on, on foot. Uh, in hand, it, of course, the Flying It feels better. But uh, 20, for twenty dollars, it doesn't really matter, you know, in, in my opinion. So they're both super good performance. Traction is amazing. Feels really, really responsive. Cushion, still a good impact protection. Materials are nice. Fit is really good. Um, and uh, you should actually probably get the lows, not this mid version because it's mid. Yeah. Uh, it basically feels like a low because there's no ankle support, yeah. and the lows ten dollars cheaper. So. Yeah, but, but it's just a solid shoe, man. Yeah. Um, you're gonna get a little bit, good, a great amount of impact protection for how low and responsive and how much core feel you have. Yes. The heel to toe transition is great. Um, super premium, the fit just hugs your foot. Uh, it, it's a solid shoe, man. Very impressed. We're very impressed with the Hyper Dunks this year. Good job, Nike. Um, and so that's the best Nike shoes, it, you know, as of currently. Yes. So, uh, you know, we like to do these every so often. And so uh, I hope we helped you guys out. We're the Soul Brothers. We'll catch you in the next one later. Peace.